How's things? Not so good. Look, if it's any use, I know what you're going for. I think so, Sonny. You can't be as badly off as I was. Can't I? What? What's happening? Oh, nothing. It's not your problem anyway. Oh, come on, Mark. I lost another grand last night. A grand? I thought we could get even. Well, how much do you owe now? Three grand. I feel such a prat, Sanj. I've let everyone down. You playing tonight? I've got nothing to play with. They don't accept credit any longer. They want to see cash, don't they? Look, Mark, I, I don't know if this will help, but I've been uh, thinking about Vince. I wasn't going to say anything, but I reckon he's playing with Mark cards. Leave off, Sanj. This ain't Las Vegas. No, Mark, I mean it. I don't think so. Ollie loses a hand every now and then. Vince wouldn't cheat his own mate. Yeah, but Ollie's part of the setup. You've been watching too many gangster movies. Look, all I'm saying is that Vince wins far too often for my liking. I reckon he's got a dodgy deck. That should be my line. Isn't that what people always say when they're losing? Hey, Mark, have a drink at lunchtime, eh? Oh, I don't think so, Dad. I'm not really in the mood. Oh, come on, it'll do you good. Well, the thing is, I was planning to work for him at lunch hour. Well, give yourself a break. You could do with a break, couldn't you, Sanj? Yeah, certainly could. Yeah, I'll see you later, eh? What am I going to do about this? I've been extra careful to check lately as well. Well, I launder clothes, not money. I've been waiting for days to say that. Sorry, Pauline. Just feel cheated, that's all. Ten pounds is a lot of money to me. But if you want my advice, go and spend it. Hmm? Jules tried that in the book is, and all he ended up with was a three-legged horse and an empty pocket. Now, don't gamble it. Go and spend it where it won't show up. Like where? Well, the fit. Let Grant take it off your hands for you. If anybody knows what to do with a fake tenor, he does. It wouldn't be fair. What harm's a tenor gonna do? They're taking money hand over fist in that place. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem right. Look, all you do is you go in, you order an orange juice, you pay for it, you drink it, and you walk out with about nine quid in your pocket. Think about it. Thanks for any time. Hello, Blossom, how are you? Not so bad, actually. Yeah. Hey, Pauline, you've noticed how Mark's been down lately, haven't you? Yeah, I've been trying not to push him, though. Yeah, I thought I might have a chat with him. We're going for a drink lunchtime, oh, and yeah. you don't, uh, you don't happen to have a spare tenner, do you? Oh, how many are you planning on having? As many as it takes. So if you think it'll help. All right. Here. Oh, cheers, I've done. So what are you going to say to him? I don't know. Well, let me know how you get on. And let him get a word in edgeways. Don't you do all the talking. I won't. All right, Lisa. Seven o'clock in the bull, yeah? OK. See you at seven. Ciao. So many women and so little time, eh? So, why don't you come to see me then, Barry? Oh, I just wanted to have a chat with you. About Pat. Why? What's wrong? Well, nothing. Nothing. I'm just a bit worried about her, that's all. It's the thought of her doing all that bookkeeping. That's a big job. All right, I'll pat a sail through it. Anyway, the accountant do all the heavy stuff, you know, the uh, tax, whatever. Let's put it another way. The more time Pat spends on the books, the less time she spends with you. Now, she's not exactly what you call a spring chicken, is she? What are you saying, Barry? Just that at her time of life, she should be easing her foot off the old pedal a bit, you know? Uh, let's let's go back to the top, shall we? Well, the top of what? Uh, let's rewind this conversation. And this time, you come out and you tell me really what this is all about. Dad, what are you trying to say? What I'm saying, Barry, is I want to know what the hell you're up to. So I'm worn out. He's only just been half nine. I don't know what's wrong with me. He's having a younger blow that does it. I think so. Come on, Kath, I was only kidding. Maybe there's some truth in that. Maybe I can't keep up with him. What do you mean? Phil ain't been dragging you out every night, has he? No, but maybe that's what he wants. He was late back the other night. So? It was only one night. Grant kept him out till gone two. Well, he came home. Oh, don't come back, you've got to start worrying. No, it's not just about coming home, though, is it? We'll try and find out what went on in Spain. Huh? What's Phil been saying, then? That's what he doesn't say, that bugs me. Our times change, eh? What are you on about? Well, it wasn't so long ago that... I was telling you I'd never trust a bloke again after what Frank did. And you said give Roy the benefit. I didn't believe you then. He was right. So now you're telling me the same? You know Phil wouldn't do anything. It's Grant that worries me. 
It's like a contest to see who feels more loyal to, me or him. Plus, I'm sure that Grant's got some old over him. What feels crazy about you? Everybody can see that. All right, Kev. Cut two, please. You uh, don't accept these in here, do you? You're still hanging on to that. I don't know what else to do with it. Oh, <laughs> let's have a gander and some money, mate. That's a nice job. Yeah. Oh, good to her. Oh. I used to know a bloke a long time ago. He printed his own stuff. He was going to take me around Cornwall on it. And did he? Nah, it's a rainy summer. All the ink ran. <laughs> I'm waiting, Barry. Look, I'm just trying to help you and Pat make a go of it. And, and you're sitting there accusing me of being up to something. But that really hurts, Dad. Look, I want it plain and simple. Why don't you want Pat doing the books? Let's put it this way. Manor Wood is a big firm. And we've got a good accountant, but we only see him, what? Once a month? So? So I'm worried that Pat's gonna miss a few things. What things? Well, tax things, VAT things, all sorts of things. She's gonna have to be so vigilant, I mean, so thorough. She'll be working flat out, and even that might not be enough. I'm only trying to do the right thing, Dad. Are you telling me there is something wrong with the books? Because if there is, I've gotta look into it. No, 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 I, I, I didn't say that. Now, listen, Barry, I don't know what the hell this is all about. But whatever it is, don't you try and take me for a fool. Do you get that? Hello. Not finished your washing yet. Oh, I'll just to the walk. Blossom's doing a few extra hours for me. Trying to make up for that dud tenor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I told her what to do with it. It seems like they're everywhere. Mmm, funny, isn't it? I wonder where they're coming from. Does Phil know? Why would he? Well, no, I've just thought so. Well, he doesn't. He's as much in the dark as everyone else. Phil's mm -hmm. not a counterfeiter, Pauline. I never said he was. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. I don't know what's the matter with me. No? Oh, it's nothing, really. It's just sometimes men can be really hard to get through to. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's true. They can be really secretive when it comes down to it. Do you reckon? Mm. If you're very lucky, they're just little secrets, like nipping out to the bookies for a quick flutter. And if you're unlucky? Or they could go looking for someone else. Yeah, but there'd be hints, wouldn't there? You know, like staying out later than normal or, or maybe not talking much. Yeah. If you're not looking for them, you don't see them. And that's what really hurts. Being made to look a fool. Last bits, please. What can I do for you, Ron? Oh, um, uh, quite a lot of things. Why are you saying you're looking at you? I've got a bit of this. Oh, coming right up. Leave it to her and you'll be there all day. Oh, I'll have a... I was serving him. Mm. You'd probably spill it or something. Can I have a drink, please? You better serve her. She's obviously in a hurry. Oh, I seem to want to take you. Just doesn't make some of these. Oh, yeah. Well, you can also buy it over the tip if you like. Hi, right, stranger. All right. Hi, right, Sam. You all right? Here's a pint, please, darling. All right. We've got some lovely lunches today. Yeah? What's that then? Got chicken in a basket. You had that yesterday. Well, I'll make you a sandwich or something if you like. That's all. Just have a roll. <sighs> Get us a vodka and tonic, will you, love? Been all over, I am. Well, spending all your money. The landlady needs to look her best. Listen, I'll be back in a sec, all right? Sorry. Cheers. <sighs> Are you going to check those first? Well, well, it might not be only duck tenors floating around, you know. Well, they look all right to me. Yeah, that's the beauty of those things. Are you right? Mm. Oh! What's the matter? Oh, I think I've hit a nerve. He was testing his money. Oh, all right. Yeah, what can I get you? Oh, I'll have the usual, please. Right. Do you know David used to be the star of my football team? I'm not surprised. You sound a bit keen. I suppose I am, really. It's nice to see you taking an interest in someone more mature for once. He's not that old, Mum. You don't have to be old to be mature. Anyway, if you want him, my girl, I reckon you'll have no trouble in getting him. Do you think so? I know the signs when I see him. It's David there. Oh, I'll be over here. Uh, I had a word with Barry this morning. Yeah? Yeah, he, um... <sighs> he voiced his concern about you doing the books at Manor Wood. Any reason? Well, I was hoping you might be able to provide one. Oh, me? Well, I can think is how ungrateful can you get? Uh, sons can be very hurtful when they want to be. Probably my fault. I've been too easy on him over the years. I love him, even though I don't approve of the way he does things sometimes. Still the same bad David. Anyway, uh, Pat, um, I feel that Barry has his reasons for wanting you to give up at Manorwood. 
Well, I mean, this is this is pure conjecture, you understand. But have you noticed anything odd with the books? I mean, any irregularities? No. No, I haven't. You can tell me, Pat. Well, I would if there was something to tell, Roy. You know that. Okay, fair enough. Probably getting worried about nothing, I suppose. Yeah, he's upstairs, I think. Yeah, do us a favour, will you? Keep your eye on it. We'll be back in a sec. This still doesn't seem quite right. Well, if it'll make you feel better, try the fruit machine. What good would that do? Well, at least the pub will get something back. I hope your luck's better than mine. Obviously not. It's good you can talk to me about this, you know. And sometimes it's nice to be asked to help. Now, listen, here's what we do. I think I can scrape together a couple of hundred quid. That will see you clear. Couldn't take your money, Dad. OK, then, um, then don't pay off the store this month. Me and your mum won't mind. No, no, no. That's not fair. This is my mess. I should be able to sort it out. But I want to help, Mark. I don't like to see you all upset like this. No, it's all right. I was, I was just overreacting. You sure? Yeah. You won't tell Mum, will you? Well, no, not if you don't want me to. And anyway, things are never as bad as they seem, are they? Right, I let you off. I'll stay for another drink. No, I wish I could. No, I'll go on then. As long as you promise to serve me. I promise. Roy's really nice to me. Is he going to be your next dad? Don't know. Wouldn't mind, though. He's really generous. So is my dad's girlfriend. She said she'd give me anything I wanted. What? Anything. I suppose so. That's what she said. What are you going to ask for? Don't know yet. Don't tell Nigel. Why not? He wouldn't like it. Bianca's dad's always buying her stuff. And Alan hates it. Oh, I wouldn't do anything to hurt Nigel. Well, uh, they're funny, the results. Get upset at the weirdest things. Look, this is daft, Grant. It's stupid. What do you mean? Look, I thought I told you I had nothing to do with something. I thought you'd listen to me. I've got it all under control. Have you? Well, you could have fooled me. I just want a few cups, that's all. Listen, mate, you can't pass a man in the fig. I mean, it's the first place the old bill are going to live in. That is a good forgery, don't knock it. Well, it can't be that good, because I tumbled it straight off. Cash and carry didn't. <sighs> don't believe this. I mean, you've done some soppy things in your time, but this is just about the soppiest. You think so? Look, if uh, you've got any more of these, I'll burn them straight away. No. Look, you can get banged up for this. The old bill will be round here straight away. I'm telling you, they will be. I ain't going to find anything, because I've got them hidden away. And what about if they got a warrant, eh? You're going to have to shift them then, aren't you? 
But use your life, Grant. I mean, they've been dying to stick something on you for ages. It's only a matter of time, innit? All right, you've got a point. If you're so worried about me, you can look after him for a while. Oh, he's at the back. Oh, well, tell him I'm here, don't you? I will, so I just thought you'd put it to the show. Cheers, bruv. I just want you to sit on here for a while. Don't need this. Well, like you said, he can't stay here. Phil, Kathy's looking for you. Right. I'm not a word to anyone, not even Kath. I don't like it. I'm only for a while. It'll be out in a minute, Kath. What are they doing out there? Nothing interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> I joined you for a quick drink. Dara was in, so I got him to look after the cafe for a bit. Oh, right. So what are you two planning now? Oh, just a fishing trip. Oh, no one told me. Listen, I've got a lot on, so uh, I better get back to the arches, all right? Well, I come over especially to see you. Yeah, I know. Well, the keys and these is matter tonight, so I better come to you. We'll go out later, yeah? I promise. Well, you know Phil, married to the job. Fashion early. Yeah, well, it's not really been a great day. Listen, I'm sorry about last night. I don't know what getting to me. Sometimes just seeing sorry isn't enough. Look, I feel bad enough as it is not having saved as much as you and Shell. Just forget your match you'll play for one set. We're all in this together. This isn't a competition. I know that. But why are you running yourself into the ground working all hours then? Look, I just want to pay my fair share, OK? They told us that last night instead of sloping off like you did. Yeah, I wasn't really in the mood for talking. <sighs> when are you ever... What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know. You figure it out for yourself. No, I can do out this right now. Well, that makes two of us. Did you get anywhere with Mark? Yeah, sort of. Well, what do you mean, sort of? Either you did or you didn't. Well, I think he just wanted to get a few things off his chest. Like what? Oh, this and that. I don't think the store's been doing very well lately. I always know when you're lying to me, Arthur. I'm not lying. It's just that Mark didn't want you to know. Know what? Well, I can't say, can I? Is it bad? No, not now he's had a chance to talk about it. Well, if it's not bad, you can tell me. No. I gave him my word. You men. The only people you're ever loyal to is each other. Of course we're not. No, you are. It's true. I don't know why you just don't all marry each other. Then there wouldn't be any problems. Oh, by the way, I've ordered a load of flyers. I'm picking them up tomorrow. What for? Well, I want to call a meeting about this incinerator. A big one. I thought I'd leave the area, drum up some support. What, all by yourself? Are oh, you offering to help? Well, I might be able to. It's my afternoon, you know, when I finish at the laundrette. You mean you don't mind? No, of course not. He'll give that Ian something to think about, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you've got a nice long That's right. Come by your polish. Yeah, What are you, lot blind? What's the matter? Look at this stuff, it's forged. Come on. It is. How do you know? I just do the queen that wear that much mascara. You're right, you know. How did they get in there? I don't know. I want us all to be on the lookout from now on. I don't want any more of that stuff getting in the till. You got it? So does that mean we've got to check every note anyone gives us? Twice over. The punters won't like that. They'll think it's downright rude. Yeah, well, that's their problem. And where's Sam? She should be listening to this. What's this, a staff meeting? Right? You knew it. Yeah, sort of. I've been in Spain for a little while. Yeah? I've been there. Yeah, what part? Minorca. I'll, uh, have to show you my snapshots. Well, I hope they're not rude, because I know what you boys get up to on holidays. What's that, then? Will you tell me? All right. What time you finish? Well, you come in here, you come in here to drink. You got it? Grant! Well, did you see the way she was behaving? She's asking for trouble. Do you want people to drink in your pub, or don't you? They come in here anyway. You don't have to advertise. Oh, sorry about this, love. Have one on the ass. I've got a brother like that. What you have? Yeah, overprotective, and they think they own you. Yeah, you know, you can give me your curries and your Chinese and, and your hamburgers and what have you, but you know, when it comes down to it, you just can't be fish and chips. Don't they just them, didn't you, Cap? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's our age, Janine. You see, um, old habits they die hard. You're not that old. I'm not. Of course not. Chelsea! You 
You do wonders with her, you know. She used to be a right thing. Oh, don't believe a word of it. Oh, well, she was, believe you me. Roy, I've been giving a lot of thought to what you said about divorcing Frank. Yeah? I was wondering if perhaps you'd make an appointment for me to see that solicitor. You mean that? Yeah. Now, you're sure you want to? I think it's time. Yeah. But what about, um, Janine and, and Ricky? I've spoken to Ricky. He'll be OK, because he likes you. Yeah. I like him, too. Well, you're not saying very much. Well, when I want to. It's just that I'm a bit excited, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Roy, it is the right thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Cheers. No problem. <sighs> I'm sorry about last time. I don't matter. Did you get your motor fixed on time? Yeah, no problem. Good. You're not hungry? No, not really. What were you and Grant talking about? Oh, much, just on the chat. Phil. We were talking about fish. Fish? Yeah. Where to catch him, what to catch him with, and, and what to do with him once you caught him. So what was in the bag he gave you? Bait. What's this about? You tell me. Cheers. So you had any duds yet? So no, I ain't bothered checking. Ah, oh, no, me neither. Look, if you ask me, flirting with the pantlers never did anybody any harm. Yeah, well, Grant obviously don't think so. I oh, forget about him. He's just playing big brother. I've got better words for him. Cause you should have seen my brother when I dyed my hair blonde once. He said I looked like a mutated Marilyn Monroe. He went mad. Made me dye it back to black straight away. Nearly ruined me hair. He don't like blondes then. That's the thing, anybody else does it and it's all right. Yeah, but Grant shouldn't have spoken to me like that in front of everybody. Forget it. I ain't even worth thinking about. Tell you what, though, we could have a right crack in here, eh? Have those punters licking our boots. You'd love it here, didn't you, all the attention? It ain't real, you know. Yeah, I know. It just makes the job more bearable sometimes, doesn't it? Why are you bored? Ain't you? That's your drink? What, you're gonna buy me a drink? Oh, Grant is. Well, it's not exactly chocker, is it? Gotta do something to get through this shift. Ah, oh, here you go. Cheers. <laughs> You're in here, then? Looks like it. What are you doing? Just thinking. What about it? This and that. Tried <sighs> subject. I know things have been difficult lately. <laughs> You're telling me. I might get up to you. I will. If you get something to tell me, just tell me. I can't be doing me all these silences. If you've changed your mind about anything, don't be scared to say it. Are you having second thoughts about the baby? No, it's not that. It's just... But it's hard to explain, that's all. <sighs> we'll try. I don't know. I just can't. Maybe I don't know what the problem really is. So you admit there's a problem? Yeah. No. I don't know. You're not making much sense, Mark. Ruth. Yeah? I had a chat with Dad today. Yeah? Yeah. Is that it? I feel as if I've let him down. Oh. You can't talk to me, you know. Then again, maybe you can't. I am trying. Well, it's not enough. I'm going to bed.
I'll show you what button. <laughs> Do you have another one for the road? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Uh -huh. What's going on? We're having our own lock-in. Says who? Says us. Time to go home. We're having a drink run. The pub's closed. Night-night. Aw, -night. Uh -huh. you don't fancy tucking me in, do you? Out. See you tomorrow, Sam. Bye, Tiff. first thing in the morning. So? So do you think you should stay up late drinking? As if I'm gonna do that. Anyway, you'll chuck my mate out. Some mate, you wanna stay away from her, she's trouble. Would you know? I'm just saying, you don't wanna fall in with someone like that. Not after Spain. I'm more of a prisoner in here than what I was out there, huh? Don't be like that. You don't own me, Grant. 